How's it going guys? Julian Bradley here from TheMusicalEar.com So a Musical Ear member has asked me if I can share some of my favourite chord progressions at the piano and it would be my absolute pleasure to share with you some of my favourite jazz piano chord progressions. So in this video I'm going to show you three of my favourite chord progressions but in addition to these three I've put together a free download which is some sheet music which shares actually six of my favourite chord progressions. So it will have these three but then additional three. So if you'd like to download that just click the link below, enter your email and you'll receive an automatic email from me with that sheet music. So without further ado, we're going to go straight to the lesson. Enjoy the video and I'll talk to you again on the other side. So here is the first of my favourite chord progressions, here we go. So let's take a look at this. C minor 7, and I'm choosing to voice these in this sort of open voicing. Root 5th, 3rd and 7th. C minor 7, and then we just slide the left hand down a half step. C and G goes to B and F sharp, while the right hand stays the same. And that gives you B major 7. So C minor 7. B major 7, and then we bring both hands down, B flat and F, the root and the 5th, the 3rd and the 7th, in the right hand, D flat and A flat. We're going to do the same pattern, right hand stays the same, left hand slides down a half step, and that gives you an A major 7 chord. So B flat minor 7 to A major 7. Those first four chords again. These are called glide progressions, where you, where a chord changes to a new chord just by moving a couple of the notes or half of the notes, roughly, just sliding them, while the other two notes stay the same. There's all sorts of possibilities. C minor seven, C major seven. C sharp minor 7. Lots of fun things you can do with that. But when I get to this A major 7 chord, I go up a major 3rd and I play a C sharp minor, minor 9 chord in this case, but just basically a C sharp minor 7 chord. And I like to either add the 9th or play it as a minor 11th chord. So play a C sharp minor chord and a B major chord, which is a simple way to think of a minor 11 chord. Just as two triads. Here's the whole chord progression again. And this is a chord progression that I composed when I was about 18. I remember stumbling across these chords at the piano and I just fell in love with them. Now in preparing for this video I actually tried changing these chords slightly. Same, 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 but instead of A major you could play this as an A dominant 7 chord except I was voicing it like this. 7th, 9th, major 3rd, major 6th. And this just sounds a bit more grown up, I think. It's up to you which one you prefer, but here's how this one sounds. Sounds a bit more gospely. I like both. As a younger player, I would have definitely preferred the A major 7 chord sound. 
it's a bit more of a pop music kind of sound going from the A major chord up to the C sharp minor chord but if you want more of a gospely sound I think this one is a bit more perhaps interesting Now the second chord progression I'm going to show you, I'm going to demonstrate in C minor. It does come out of key, but predominantly this is in C minor, here's how it sounds. Again. Now I'm playing these open chord voicings which are root 5th, 3rd and 7th. You can apply that to any type of 7th chord. Sounds great every time, very clean. So if we're in C minor, starts on F minor 7, the minor 4 chord. Goes up to A flat major 7, root 5th, 3rd, 7th. Resolves to C minor 7, the 1 chord. Here's the interesting part, B flat major, and I've added a major 7, which isn't actually in the key of C minor scale, you know, a second ago we had an A flat major chord, now I'm playing an A natural above this B flat major 7 chord. So that's why it creates this nice, interesting sound, it's basically modulating in a very subtle way. We're in C minor. we're not in C minor because we've got a B flat major 7 chord and then we're back in C minor with an A flat major 7 chord here it is again and I got this chord progression from a dance track that I was used to really be into as a teenager it's called Need to Feel Loved by Reflect and they used these string samples play these chords, goes like this, but in the original song the strings only play triads, they don't play seventh chords, so what I like to do is I make these all into seventh chords, and then I get this nice modulation play the B flat major chord as a major 7. That's what makes this chord progression so nice. Now I used this chord progression in my piece Falling in Love for the First Time. extra chords at the end. The original is actually in a different key, B minor, but I'm demonstrating it in our C minor key here. So I turned these into minor 11th chords and major 11th chords and I use this Kenny Barron voicing. Here's the B flat major 7 put a sharp 11 here. But that is just this chord progression embellished into a sort of arpeggiated 11th chord pattern, but it's the same nice chord progression, which you can play as simply as this.
Now we come to the final chord progression, which I'm going to share with you in this video. Don't forget there's the free download below this video where you can print out even more. But here's the final chord progression, which I'm going to look at in this video. C minor again, we're in the key of C minor. actually play this pattern forever. And it will take you through all 12 keys and I finally got back to C minor again. So let me explain this. Really, you can just do this once, or you can keep doing it two or three times, or you can keep doing it all 12 times like I just did. But this is a beautiful modulation. You're in the key of C minor. I'll play it simply as a triad here. Here's a C minor chord. But then you modulate to the key of F minor. And the way you do that is you play this D flat major chord, which is not in the scale of C minor, play a D flat major chord going up to an F minor chord and I happen to know that these two chords are in F minor because both these chords are found in F minor and using my ear I can hear that this F minor chord is the resolution chord which in ear training is basically the one chord of the scale so I can use my ear to tell me that the piece is modulated to F minor and of course we can get more interesting with the chord voicings play that F minor as an F minor 9 like this and then once I'm on F minor if you want to carry on you can just repeat the same pattern we're now in the key of F minor so now we just go up a half step play a major chord in this case it's G flat major resolves up a major third to B flat minor. Now we're in B flat minor. We can do the same pattern again. Go up a half step, build a major chord, B major, up a major third, build a minor chord. And then we can play all these as seventh chords. So now let me test you on this chord progression. Let's say we're on a D minor 7 chord. Which two chords would I play next to play this chord progression? Well, I'd go up a half step to E flat and I'd build an E flat major 7 chord. Root 5th, 3rd, 7th, if I use this voicing, which you don't have to. And then I'd go up a major 3rd, which is two whole steps and I'd build a minor 7 chord, which would be G minor 7, like this, but I can voice it root 5th, 3rd, 7th. Now I'm in the key of G minor, which two chords would I play next? If I wanted to continue the pattern, I'd go up a half step, build a major 7 chord, A flat major 7, looks like this, then up a major 3rd, to C, and I'll build a minor 7 chord, which would be C minor 7. If you want to use my voicing, it'd be root 5th, 3rd, 7th. You can do this forever. When you get too high, you can just bring it down an octave, so instead of to A major, I'm getting a bit high here, I'll bring it down an octave.
fancy with the chord voice things. So thank you very much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if this is the first video of mine you've seen, make sure you don't miss out on future videos by subscribing to my channel. Now as I mentioned, there's a free download which is the sheet music for each of these three chord progressions, but then with another three of my equally favourite chord progressions. So to download that sheet music, just click the link below, enter your email and you'll receive an email from me with the sheet music, you can print it out and play these at your instrument. My name's Julian Bradley, thanks for watching, enjoy these really nice chord progressions and I'll see you soon in a future video.